everyone, welcome to another day on the allotment. It's Sunday the 8th of January, I've had a, a few weeks break from uh, the work on the allotment, went away at Christmas, uh, came down for the first time yesterday on Saturday and me and my cousin uh, put about 30 barrelfuls of manure onto uh, one of the remaining beds. Um, we've done about 230 barrel loads over the last six, seven weeks over the winter and it's looking a little bit sorry for itself at the moment, the, the allotment. We've had a lot of rain and frost. We've spread manure on most of the beds now. Some of it's still in piles, in heaps. Uh, it's not been spread and the birds have been in and they've been kicking it around. Uh, it's been wet as well, so it's a little bit dirty. The paths are all pretty much covered with uh, manure. So it's not looking at its best. Um, most of the beds are empty as well. We've got some winter onions, the sprouts, the leeks, um, what else have we got? Uh, parsnips, still got a lot of parsnips. Um, but we're, we're, all as veg we're still eating off the allotment, that's the main thing. Uh, potatoes, we've still got sacks of them, onions as well. Um, just before I uh, went away at Christmas, I did do a, a raised bed and I filmed the the first part of it. It's an old dig bed. I filmed the the preparation, um, uh, talked about, all, you'll see it in, in a moment, talked about all the ingredients I was going to put in. And I filmed the first part and then my camera died on me. And it was late in the afternoon. It was drawing to, to a close the day, so I decided to finish the bed anyway. So I'm going to do a second bed and I'll film the layering up part so you can see what ingredients I use. I've not got as many ingredients this time but you'll get the general idea. So uh, I'll get on with that now and I'll catch you in a moment. Hi, this is the the bed that I referred to, the first no dig raised bed that I completed. I think it was around about the start of December. That's what it looks like now with all the ingredients in it layered up. Um, settled a little bit. I seem to remember it being about three inch higher than that. Um, but as you'll see from the clip that's to, to follow, quite a lot of ingredients went in there. So I'll show you that now and then afterwards we'll continue with the, the layering up of this bed. It'll all make sense when you've seen it anyway from uh, start to finish. Okay, catch you in a minute. Afternoon everyone. It's Sunday the 27th of November and it's a little bit late in the day but I've decided to make a start on the first raised no dig bed. I've just spent about 20 minutes lightly lifting the turf. I've gone down about a spade's depth and it's uh, an old spade so it's probably only about eight or nine inch. Um, I did hit some really compacted bits with a brick and uh, rubbish um, but for the most part it wasn't too bad actually so as I say I've lifted it not turned it but then chopped it as you can see now that's going to be left I'm not going to remove any of the turf what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spread some lime over the top of the turf in the hope that that will help to break it down and then I'm going to cover the whole bed with some thick corrugated cardboard. I've removed all the plastic that was holding the boxes together and all the um, heavy duty metal staples that were in some of them, some of the pieces as well. And I've pre-soaked it all. So what I'll do is I'll put the soaked side down to the soil and then I'll water the top of the cardboard as well so that it, you know it's got a good start um, and it'll hopefully start rotting down uh, more quickly and I will water just about every layer uh, as, I, as I build up the bed just take a quick look around the uh, allotment I've, I've cut the grass part of it before my mower conks out again um, it's an old one and I've put the grass cuttings over there they're going to form one of the green layers so we'll, we'll put some nitrogen rich material in there You'll see it, it's, a, it's a bit of a mess, the allotment, uh, this afternoon because I've got stuff all over the place. Um, but next to it I've got some fairly fresh straw and that's come out of some of the stables 
uh, that we use to uh, bed down the horses, cover the ground. I've got some bagged up hay that's really well rotted, so that's more of a brown layer. I've got some hops that have been sat in some sacks for quite a while. So they're more of a, a green layer really. Uh, the thing about all these things is that um, they start off green when they're fresh um, and then become a, a brown product over time as they decay, as the, the nitrogen's uh, depleted uh, from the straw or hay or grass, whatever it is, and then you're left uh, more with, with more carbon, I guess. So you end up with a brown layer. So it is a little bit confusing when, you, when you're thinking about uh, layering things up. But the, the main thing that I've learned, really, from looking at a whole host of different uploads on YouTube, is that there are a million different ways of layering up an old dig bed. Um, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. There are no hard and fast rules. It's a little bit like building your own compost. So the greater diversity you've got in there, uh, the more likely you're going to end up with a balanced mix of nutrients when you're finished. So I'm starting with turf, that's going to rot down, that's nitrogen rich. We've put some lime on it to break it down. We've put some cardboard, so we've got a brown layer. That'll also suppress, hopefully, any further weed growth, weed germination, because we're trying to exclude light, that's pretty key. So we'll have a mix of straw, grass, compost, manure, soil, spent hops. I've also got some uh, the remnants of this year's organic chicken manure that'll go in as well. I've got some reaming rock dust and we'll put some of that in into the uh, soil layers that go in and I've also got some some worm casts as well and that, it's all organic stuff um, we're adding trace elements and nutrients back in to the soil because we're trying to build the soil um, and then we'll top dress it probably with some spent compost and some some soil and then I'll cover it with uh, some black horticultural plastic uh, over the remainder of the, the winter so that's the plan so I'll make a start. I'll get the camera set up on the tripod and then it'll be a little bit easier to film. Right, so we'll make a start on the second no-dig bed. I've got it to the stage that it was in at the end of the previous clip. The turf and the soil's been dug to a spade's depth, uh, all nicely chopped. I've put some lime on there as well to uh, help it rot down more quickly. It's in actually quite good condition. There are lots of worms in there. It's nice and uh, soft, dark as well. Uh, so that's a good start. I'm now going to wet down the cardboard over there that I collected from the local recycling point this morning because we didn't have enough at home. Uh, it's basic brown corrugated cardboard. The metal staples have been removed. There's no tape or, well there's actually a little bit of tape but most of it's clean and it's important that. Um, so that's going to suppress the weeds, it's going to block out the light it's a brown material so it should rot down nicely as well. So I'll get on with that now. Well that's the cardboard down. Um, there's just about two layers over the entire uh, bed. It's nicely overlapped as well. And I've wetted it down on both sides. So uh, that should uh, start it rotting down more quickly. So the next job is to put some manure on. That's the first one ready. I'll put that on now and then uh, I'm probably going to need another two or three barrows. I'm only going to put up two or three inch on because uh, we want to let it up nicely. So I'll, I'll do that now.
as you can see one uh, full barrow doesn't go very far it's a 10 foot by 5 foot bed and I'm gonna I would say I'm gonna need another three so I'll get on with that and then we'll return with the next layer that's the uh, first layer of manure four barrowfuls it's taken me about 20 minutes so I'm uh, I'm already in for about 45 minutes of my time next step is spent hops and I get this from a local brewery I get one to two bags a week but I collect them every three weeks or so so it's um, you know it's it's not too expensive in terms of diesel and, and collecting the sacks so uh, it's a little bit uh, more environmentally friendly doing it that way so spent hops they'll go on now When they first come from the brewery, they're nice and loose and fluffy, but when they've been sat in the sacks for three or four weeks, they get quite clumpy and quite wet and heavy. So I'll have to break them up a little bit now, but they still, they still smell really, really nice. They smell like a uh, bit of shandy. Smell really, really nice. But I think I need another sack. Last sack was nice and uh, fluffy, so it's spreading nicely. I can't tell you how nice that smells, it's really, really lovely. So that's for spend hops. We need some soil now, so that's the next layer. And to the soil, when I put the soil on, I'll add some worm casts and some rock dust, because uh, from my understanding, the worm casts work better in the soil um, and towards the, 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 the upper half of the, the, uh, the bed as well. So I'll get on with that now. Time for a bit of soil. This is soil that came from an adjacent paddock and from the entranceway where they brought the horses in and it got a little bit muddy so they've put some uh, hardcore down but 
allowed me to take the, uh, the soil that was there and it's quite rich. It's a mixture of well, rotten manure and soil really. Uh, it's quite crumbly, so I'll put that on. A couple more barrows required I think, so I'll get on with that. I'm not going to put it on too thick, um, there are some worms in there as well, but you're adding lots of uh, nutrients and minerals and trace elements and what have you when you add your soil. But as with your, your own compost, you don't, you don't need to put loads in. I will make sure there's a, a nice four to five inch layer on top of soil and compost. So uh, I'll do some more uh, soil gathering. So I've got a thin layer, it's probably only an inch and a half or so, it's not completely covered with soil. But I'm going to add some uh, some worm casts now, I think there might be Willie's Worms worm casts, but any brand will do I'm sure. And it's basically worm poo and some volcanic rock dust and that's uh, the Reamin brand. It's the one that Mick Poultney uses on his allotments I think, so I'll make a start on that now. This was a 40 litre sack um, and hopefully it'll be enough to do these four beds. I think it cost about £13, about £13, so it's a little bit expensive but it's only once to be done. And again, I think this was about £13 for the bag. And I think that's probably a 20 litre uh, sack. Um, but it goes a long way.
full of trace elements. They do tell you on the uh, the sacks and the information sheets that come when you uh, you buy them what what proportion of um, rock dust or worm casts to use you know by the the square meter um, but I've I've just applied it liberally um, probably a couple of handfuls per square meter that'll do the next layer is going to be straw. So I'll, I'll collect that now and then we'll layer that up. So here we have the, the straw and I guess the thing to note about uh, grass and straw is that depending upon how aged they are, they can be green or brown matter. Uh, this is quite fresh, um, so it's sort of still virgin on the green side. Uh, the last time I did it on this bed, I also w wetted it down afterwards with water and urine. Um, doesn't smell very nice, but uh, again, you're, ad you're adding nitrogen, um, you know, to sort of compensate perhaps for the the nitrogen that might be depleted from the soil as you, your green matter breaks down. If I understand that correctly, I think that's right. So, um, but on this occasion, I'm all out of uh, urine, so it's just water. Uh, but I'll get this uh, straw spread. One more barrel should do it, and then uh, we'll layer up with soil. Straw on, we'll wet it down now. Time for some more soil. Soil's arrived, so we'll get that put on now.
few more barrels of that required then we'll add some more uh, rock dust and worm casts and then we'll cap it off with some spent compost from last year's potatoes well that's the last of the soil on I'm just going to put some more worm casts and some rock dust and then uh, I shall be taking a break for lunch and then when I return I'll put some spent compost on the top Right, time for a cup of tea and some lunch. I'll catch you later. Hi, I'm back. Well, I think I need to take longer lunch breaks because <laughs> that passed all too quickly. I'm putting on the spent compost from last year's potatoes and it still looks really nice, really nice and dark. It's been left outside so it's uh, moist as well. So I'll get that put on. I'm going to rake in the uh, the rock dust and the worm cast first though. another three or four barrels and then we should be done well that's the the second raised bed finished the no dig bed and I'm not going to repeat or run through the layers you've just watched me do it it's a pity I didn't have a few more ingredients to add in because um, last time I had some uh, chicken manure and grass cuttings it would have been nice to have had some some leaves as well but the whole point about taking this approach is that you use what you've got. Um, now these four beds will probably take 
the best part of three to four cubic meters of material. Now if, if you'd bought that online, well rotted cow manure or horse manure or compost, uh, it would cost you about 70, 75 pounds per cubic meter. I had a look last night on the internet just to look and see. Um, and what's this cost? Well, it's cost one bag of Remin rock dust, volcanic rock dust for trace elements, and a sack of worm casts. And together, I think they were about 27, 28 pounds. So let's call it 30 pounds with a bit of lime that's gone in. Everything else has been free. I've sourced the cardboard from uh, a recycling uh, point where people have put all their uh, Christmas rubbish in and I had to sort quite a bit of rubbish out of it as well but that took me about half an hour this morning to uh, to salvage some cardboard I've got spent hops, they were free and I've used surplus soil on the allotment I'm lucky that I've got four allotments straw from the uh, surrounding paddocks and manure from the surrounding uh, paddocks and the horses so it's cost me £30 and if I'd had to buy in four cubic metres it would have cost me £300. Um, and what we're doing here is building soil. Um, there are many different ways to do no, no dig. Uh, if you look at Charles, Dow Charles Dowding's uh, videos online you'll see that he'll just cover up um, pasture or grass with maybe six eight inch of manure uh, maybe on top of cardboard or he'll put black sheeting over the top of that. He'll plant pumpkins and squash in his first year um, and then in subsequent years he top dresses it with compost or well rotted manure and over the years you just build up really good quality soil. Um, what I've done is more of a, a lasagna bed I guess. There are, you, there are lots of videos on YouTube uh, uh, put up by people in Australia and, and this seems to be quite popular there and they, they'll put um, alfalfa and hay and all sorts in there and they'll build it about two foot high and then it just rots down. Mine's more of a, a compromise really. Um, it's probably 50% straw, spent hops and grass and the other 50% is uh, soil, manure compost. So um, it will settle quite a bit but that's all right. This first bed settled by maybe two inch, two and a half inch uh, because at the end of this year I'll add another two or three inch of um, spent compost so it's not costing me anything. So I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit laborious, a little bit long-winded, quite labour intensive. It probably would have been as, as quick just to dig over the bed. But I've not taken anything from the soil. What I've done is I've loosened all the earth underneath that's in reasonable condition. All the grass will rot down. I've added a bit of lime and I've added lots of other ingredients. So I've actually built soil. So I've got maybe 10, 11 inch of soil on the top that I've built and hopefully the roots and the worms will, will go into the, the ground beneath that, maybe another six, eight inch. Uh, so it should become a really fertile uh, no dig bed and it will not be dug again. Y you've got my word on that. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, subscribing and thanks for watching. Um, I don't think I said it yet, Happy New Year, it's a little bit late, a bit belated, it's the 8th of January today, um, but um, I've got two beds done now, out of the four, so uh, I think I've earned a rest, I'm off home now, I'll catch you later, take care, bye.